Yo, what is going on, you stinky CLB? Finally back uploading here on YouTube. I've been playing a ton of Darkness of Blaze over on the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash AzulGG. I stream over there almost daily. Um, usually don't stream on Mondays, but streamed a ton of Darkness of Blaze uh, games over there. Um, and this has been my favorite deck so far. It's the Vika Vault deck with the Paralyzing Bolt. One of the main reasons this deck is good, uh, or this card is good. 50 damage, lightning, colorless. Um, our opponent can't play any item cards from their hand during their turn, plus 50 damage. And it's got that super zap cannon, lightning, lightning, colorless, one at 90. Powered up with some E-powers or following up from a Paralyzing Bolt. You can pretty much two hit KO um, or even one hit KO. Almost everything in the format, the VMAX Pokemon is where we got to definitely go in with the two hit KOs. But besides that, everything else we're kind of taking care of pretty easily. Um, the card is super strong. Uh, I think it's super great. Uh, it's insane. Uh, definitely my favorite. It's definitely my favorite deck that I played with so far. I don't know if it's the best way to play. A lot of a lot of people have been playing the Guzman Hala build, um, so you can like turn one, get the you know, like a skateboard to move your active, get the Thunder Mountain plus the speed energy, and then you're already going in with the Vika Ball, or get like a capture energy as well. That's another um, energy people have been playing in there, so you can find like another basic Pokemon if you want to. I've been going a little bit more on the Turbo side of things. It was research Marnie uh, to Dene Crobat. Felt a little bit more aggressive. Um, but you sometimes don't always get everything you need, it feels like. So I haven't tried out the Guzman Hollow build yet, but this is what I've been running, and I've been loving it. Like I said, by far my favorite deck that i played with so far. Um, not much else to it besides the Vika Volts. We got the Jirachi engine here, so four Jirachi, four Switch. No scoop up nets, no reason for that. Coco Prism, one today, one Crobat, like I said. One Elder Gosh, recover support. We also have an Aura Corio in here, which I was kind of undecided of, but I've been getting a lot of value out of it recently, so I think it'll stick around. And then we have the Absol. Absol making its way back into a deck. It hasn't been very good for a long time. The reason we play the Absol is because when we're item locking our opponent, stopping them from being able to use scoop up nets, switch, a skateboard, air balloon, all those item cards that they can use to move their Pokemon around, and then increasing the retreat cost of their Pokemon by plus one, uh, we can trap stuff in the active pretty easily. So that's why the Absol is super good in here. So we use that guy for trap Pokemon in our opponent's active. And then draw supporters for research, for Marnie, three bosses, orders, E powers, a great catcher. A lot of people still run into Dene. A lot of decks have almost every deck has the Dene right now. Uh, eight basic lightning, four speed lightning, two escape board, and then two cape of toughness. I'm not sure what I want to do with this tool slot yet. If I even like the cape of toughness that much, they've had their moments. Really good in the mirror match if you can get them down before you get item locked. Uh, but counter gain is also something to consider in this. That counter gain can, counter gain can be really good. You're always just looking for more ways to get energy and play to close out games with that super zap cannon. Um, but yeah, favorite deck right now. Been playing a ton of Darkness of Blaze on the stream. Check that out. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some games with it. All right, getting we we did win the coin flip, but we're gonna go choose to go second. Like going second. So, Rachi start. Rest of the hand not great. Uh, a quick ball off which would be great though. Uh, so we can get rid of this energy and attempt to use these turbo patches without just losing them. We don't want to just lose turbo patches without attempting to use them. Looks like we're up against Pikaram probably. I don't know. It could be could be a Vika Vault deck as well. We'll see what our opponents actually has there. Yeah, there was Research Marnie, uh, Guzmahala, Basic Lightning. So could be Pika Vault, could be uh, Pikaram. We'll have to just wait and see. The Pikaram matchup has felt pretty good, especially with the Cape of Toughness. It's really hard for them to get over the Cape of Toughness ever. Um, so yeah, it's really hard for them to get over the Cape of Toughness ever, it feels like. Mirror Match is always an interesting experience, I would say. It's an interesting thing that the Mirror Match is. Um, it's a ton of fun though. I really have always liked playing item lock mirror matches or even playing against item lock decks I like trying to maneuver the situations All right, lighting energy in hand as well. Another one. It is a Vika Vault mirror Okay, getting off the first hit is very good getting that cape in play is gonna be a big deal Need the Vika Vault though. We really need a quick ball off this stellar wish. It's super important Our top deck quick ball would also work um, Our opponent seeing we have seven cards and then reset stamping us and putting these things back in the deck also wouldn't be terrible So any of those things work uh, put him back in the deck or quick ball away lightning use these turbo patches something like that uh, would be great so top deck quick ball is i think probably the best top deck that we could you know quick ball away lightning they are playing the mareep build all right this build is super annoying to play against they sleep you they item lock you we don't play malamana we don't play bird keeper um, so this build is the most annoying to play against of vika vault builds um there's a capture coming down to their vika vault local we'll prism coming out of the deck um what else do they got? Cape of Toughness themselves. A lot of people, I haven't, I haven't think I've hit a mirror match where they have the Cape of Toughness themselves. Um, yeah, I've been always running the Cape. I feel like that's been like an advantage I've had in Vika Vault mirrors I've hit so far. Opponent's got the Cape this time around though. Crobat and then pass. Quick Ball, not a Quick Ball. Another research, can we get a Quick Ball here? We did at least get a Quick Ball there. Sheesh, man. When you're getting item locked, draw supporters are usually your way to draw cards. Losing all of our draw supporters here is not gonna be great. Get a quick scroll through, all right. 
Vigo Vault into the hand. Let's use some turbo patches. Heads on the first one. Just gonna pretend the first one got tails, the second one got heads. So I feel less bad about the, losing this one here. And research, keep it, keep the option open for the speed energy. We should almost guaranteed see an energy here, but yeah, maybe we'd want to use a speed energy if we found that instead. All right, Vigo Vault here. Energy in the discard pile. I might quick ball away this energy, go with the Coco Prism here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Um, and we will then also, I don't wanna whiff an energy attachment for turn, so we are also gonna use the Crobat here as well after I switch into the Vika Vault with the two energy. We'll Crobat for four, trying to get an energy return. Whiff the energy for turn, unfortunately, so that's a little bit annoying, but I uh, can't have it all sometimes. They go down with the Absol and then Paralyzing Bolt for 50. Um, all right. Pretty good. An E-Power would have been great to see here as well, because then we could next turn could have gone with that super zap cannon and actually taken the knockout. So whiffing the energy attachment return isn't great, but still getting three energy in play on a turn is still pretty good. Um, so we're going to have to go bolt, bolt into the super zap cannon. There's a bring up of my Crobat. We have a Marnie, though, to help us find an energy. I'm sure they have a way to item lock it. So we should go attach retreat to move this Crobat. I'm feeling pretty good about being able to go attach retreat. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Maybe we'll even top deck an energy. Who knows? Should be pretty easy to go move this crowbat this turn. Not not worried about it. It would be very unfortunate if it got stuck. And Paralyzing Bolt. No Absol from our opponent yet, if they even play it. Another cape would be great to get down. Can't do it. Here we go. Marnie, energy one time. It's unfortunate to be lighting, but making sure we don't uh, get stuck here for too long is more important. So retreat that thing. Paralyzing Bolt. Uh, another thing that we can kind of use to our advantage here, our opponent doesn't play as many basic energy as us. So them getting the basic energy in the discard pile, ooh, they gave up a lot of Marnies early on themselves. So yeah, both down quite a few supporters each. I'm down a Marnie, three research. They're down, what, three Marnie in a research? Two, three Marnie, two boss in a research. Here comes a Guzman Hala, yeah. Oh, I, just as I say that, they literally Guzman Hala away two basic energy. I was saying, can be a little bit harder for them to get the basic energy in the discard pile. Not this game for them, obviously, as they Guzman Holloway, two basic energy. They'll get another speed lightning to work with. Maybe the Thunder Mountain, they might go for that. Um, and then some some tool card. Um, see what else they have um, access to. Vitality Man, Counter Gains, Air Balloon, and a Force. I kind of just don't want to give them ever access to using the Mareep, so I feel like I just want to keep going with the Paralyzing Bolt and not even go into the... Um, not even go into the Super Zap Cannon this turn. I can Super, super Zap Cannon this turn. I feel like I don't want to. I feel like I just want to keep using Paralyzing Bolt. We're ahead on the Paralyzing Bolt. If they want to break the item lock, I feel like that's just kind of fine with me. Um, so we know they have a, a Stadium as well as a Air Balloon in their hand. I'm just going to go with the Marnie here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep matching them with Paralyzing Bolts. There we go. There's an energy for us. Mm, I'll bench another Vika Vault. We're going to need a third Vika Vault. I'm going to go with the Marnie. I think I'm just going to go with the Paralyzing Bolt. Like I said, I just want to... I don't want to give them access to items. Them having access to items sounds like it's worse for me than it is for them, so. Just gonna keep punching through. Keep going this route. Um I mean, if they want to commit another energy here and then use that super zap cannon. I think I'm just fine if they do that. I think I yeah, them having access to items sounds worse than it is for me. So I'm just gonna keep doing 50. They're actually setting up the Mareep with two energy. They really want to put me to sleep here when it comes up, when it makes its way into the active here in just a second. Um they're good they really want to put my dude to sleep and retreat. Paralyzing Bolt, um, we're hoping we stay awake or they don't have the stadium and then we wake up. Because otherwise, then we're definitely in trouble if we stay asleep. Another 50 going to come to us. We'll do another 50 to them. Another 50 to us and we'll knock them out. They might break, uh, go for the knockout here. They could go for the knockout here with an attachment uh, if they want to. Um, like I said, I'm down with that. I'm down for them to do that. They're setting up this guy, though, on the bench. This Vika Vault on the bench is getting set up. And I'd get to put this escape board in play on one of my Vika Vaults. Uh, well, they do have three Retrico, so it's not that great, but it would give me more options overall. E-Power to work with if they break lock. Paralyzing Bolt once again. Again, I don't want to give them items. I just do not want to do it. Mareep is uh, it's a pain. It's a pain to deal with. We don't want to deal with it. Comes to research, discarding a bunch of options there, a bunch of cards. I haven't seen a Turbo Patch yet. Some of these lists don't even play Turbo Patch. I don't think. I Sometimes I've been like, games have been ending, I haven't seen any Turbo Patch the whole game. So I feel like it's definitely possible just Turbo Patch don't exist in some lists. All right, we get to get another energy in play. Then same thing, Paralyzing Bolt to get the knockout. We'll get the first two prize cards. Our opponent gets to put us to bed. Not great. And potentially continuously put us to bed. Um, so they're gonna sleep us. 
They're gonna hit us. I think it's though we're ahead in the prize trade, so they have to take a knockout every time. Every time they take a knockout, we get to then attack again and sleep them, and then they, it'll be hard for them to get back into the Mareep and actually uh, do anything. So uh, we're actually just two bosses' orders away from winning here because we can just go boss KO, Crobat, boss KO to Dene. So. I'm feeling very comfortable right now. I think we're in a really good spot here. We'll see if our opponent's got any other shenanigans to go alongside the Mareep, but if they don't, it sh should be a pretty clean dub, I think. There's a Zero Aura. All right, free retreat on the Mareep now. But if they can't use switches and stuff, they can't keep my current Vika Vault asleep. Big deal. We could also just wake up here. That's also possible. Here we go. All right, Tails. We did not wake up. Draw for turn. Switch. We'll attach. Gonna play a Marnie. Keep digging through the deck. Could have waited on that, but I did kind of want more energy to work with potentially. Um, and then pass. They got us. We're still asleep. Let's see what our opponent has to do on this turn. They can knock us out with the item lock attack again. But then when we come up and item lock them, they won't be able to get into the Mareep and then put the Mareep. Unless they play Bird Keeper, which I guess they, they could definitely play. They could definitely be playing Bird Keeper. And that would allow them to Bird Keeper into the Mareep, put us to sleep. That would be annoying. Maybe I should have held onto the hand with the... Um, boss and just boss something up and taking the knockout really put the pressure on them um right then right there um yeah maybe should have held the boss hand to be honest that might have been a little bit better all right go vika vault how many energy do i have left three six and eleven i have one energy left gonna attach here not gonna play the research yet paralyzing bolt play the research on the next turn yeah maybe i should have held the hand with the bosses just played the boss orders taking out something like the zero aura actually would have been pretty nice Move that from play. They don't get the free retreat anymore. Um, now they're paralyzing Bolt back, and then we're going to knock this out. We're going to attach here. We have the boss in hand now, so I think I just hold this hand with the boss. Attach here. Use the Super Zap Cannon. Take the knockout. Discard two energy. We have the boss in hand, so as soon as we can do that, they want to come up and hit us for 50 again. We're eventually going to wake up and uh, just item lock them again or just boss and win even. Uh, we're in a super good spot. Stamp, I'm sure, is on their mind and probably in their deck. Um, especially with the Mareep thing, trying to get those late game locks, item locks, sleep, stamp, put them low cards, win the game from there. Um, so I'm sure they have that going on. I'm sure they have that cooking. There's a cape on this Vika Vault. A little bit tankier, uh, but boss, Crobat, Dedene, still Zerora, still knockouts with the Super Zap Cannons. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We'll see. We're asleep. They can item lock us, but they're behind on the, if they were ahead on the prize trade, if they were, if we were even two to two on the prize trade, they would definitely be in a really good spot because then we'd be like pretty much trapped, could not move. They would eventually draw the two prizes before us. But we got a head on the prize exchange, which is like actually a super big deal um, and is allowing us to kind of stay ahead here in this situation. Double heads one time. Hey, double heads. So we're going to close this one out here. Boss up. Uh, let's take out the Zerora. And uh, yeah, all right, we'll get a dub in the mirror match. I think one of us actually, we uh, one of us could have been way more aggressive early on. And I think... Whoever did it would have been favored. Uh, my opponent could have taken the first knockout. They would have been uh, favored. If I had taken the first knockout, I would have been favored. We ended up with the first knockout, but our opponent kind of handed it to us. I think I should have been more aggressive there early on. Getting that first knockout, especially in this situation where they can lock you and always be ahead after they get ahead, uh, can make it tough to come back. All right, let's get to another one. All right, getting into that first game. Just waiting for our opponent to call the coin flip. There it is. We did win the coin flip. We're going to go second, though. I've been liking to go second with the um with the deck obviously if we play against something like eternatus going first makes a little bit more sense but we don't know what our opponent's playing um it's even that much harder to figure out what they're playing before the game starts because there's no typing thing at the beginning of the matches anymore but yeah uh i've been liking going second liking just getting that uh, turn one item locked down as soon as possible kind of limiting our opponent's uh, access to their deck as soon as possible not letting them really to set up and play around the vehicle vault unless we open it because if we open like a jirachi or something here we are going to open the vehicle vault so they'll see what we're playing but if we were to open like the jirachi or something then it'd be like okay well they don't know they're playing against vehicle vault they not might not be as, as aggressive with their items and then we can take full advantage of that by uh item locking them on the next turn our opening hand here is actually pretty good we can quick ball get uh coco prism quick ball away our top deck or something off the speed energy get a um Jirachi, switch to the Jirachi, and then Dead A change. We're up against a Dragapult deck. Never played this matchup. Uh, interested to see how it goes. Uh, they do play a decent amount of item cards. The big item cards for them are their quick balls and their treasures and stuff. We can't one hit KO a Dragapult, but we can two hit KO it. Um, with the either, there probably have to be two Super Zap Cannons, to be honest. To do it the other way, we need like three E powers in combination of a Paralyzed Bolt into a Super Zap Cannon. But uh, otherwise, we can do it the other way. Did Dene start for them is also great for us. That's good for us. Um, but yeah, we'll have to probably Super Zap Cannon the, uh, the what's it called twice. 
the Dragapult. Um, which we did see them grab off that quick ball. So they got the Dragapult. Actually, the Dragapult hit the discard pile. Um, oh, they Acrobite one away there? Actually, I have no idea what happened in the sequence here. I assume they have a Dragapult. Okay, they have a Dragapult. Do they have an energy for it? They also have an energy for it. We can also try and get the one, the, the turn one KO on it, especially with how our hand is set up here. Another Vika Vault is also great. Um, so I'm going to be aggressive with this first quick ball. I don't really want to draw into the Cocoa Prism, and we know the other quick ball is going to get a Jirachi, but I want something else to discard off of this quick ball. Um, hmm. Well, we could just go for this Turbo Patch, and if we get heads, we don't need a Jirachi. Got tails. I could give up this Vika Vault, but I really don't want to do that, but I need to switch into it, but I want to use this E-Power. Yeah, I guess we're giving up the Vika Vault. I didn't want to, but I think we kind of have to. going to grab this Jirachi. Bench of Jirachi. Switch into it. I do want to KO this Jirachi of our opponent's E-Power. Coco Prism, and then Dead A Change. Um, hopefully, if we get the boss's orders play, that'd be sick. There's a boss's orders. There's a... We don't have the energy for it, though. Missing the energy. Currently, we're missing a lot. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is not that great. Don't even have a draw supporter yet. Stellar Wish. There's a research, but we don't want to use a research. But I think we have to use a research. This is looking a little bit rough all of a sudden. It was looking really good off the start now less so we did get the heads on the turbo patch that's good throw that over we have to use a lot of e-powers here though and then go dig for a switch card this is not that was not super and we lost two boss and we didn't even get a switch card oh my gosh all right pass over to our opponent all right this is going to be a yikes of a game i think <laughs> we are down three e-power two boss and haven't even attacked yet just whiffing the switch card completely here and uh yeah we have to be really aggressive with our super zap cannon in this one i think the research from our opponent. Yeah, two hit KO this Dragapult ASAP, and then maybe try and trap something in the active to try and get our last prize card eventually with the boss plus something. But yeah, we're gonna have to be aggressive about KOing this Dragapult, I think. We're just gonna have to start slapping it with the Super Zap Cannon as soon as possible. That double turbo turbo patch in hand, which is nice. That's good to re recover some of the We haven't used our Coco Prism, Coco Prism yet, which is also good. That's another good thing that's happening. They might put Viridian Force in play for us, which is also another good thing. So there are some good things going good for us here uh definitely utilize that as well um but yeah they're gonna get off the uh first attack of the game that max phantom be able to respond with a super zap cannon and then should be able to two hit ko this thing over these two turns probably just go attach attack actually i don't even want to like use we could brilliant forest away in energy use a turbo patch attach attack we need vika vault so that's kind of what we're lacking here right now so i might marnie this turn hopefully a top deck of vika vault or even a quick ball top deck would be pretty good we can just like ditch a bunch of energy and then Put a bunch in play with like Coco Prism in this. Uh, they're not even gonna put any energy on my top of Coco. Um, they hit two on my Vika Vault here. All right, here we go. See if we can recover from this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Forest. Like I said, I was going to try and use one of these Turbo Patches. Yep. Thatch, Thatch, and Marnie. Need Vika Vaults basically as what we're really looking for. Oof. Okay. Um. Super Zap Cannon. 190. R2 Energy. And go with a speed next turn. Need to see some more stuff. This hand is not great at all. Not great at all. Don't really want to put another Jirachi in play. Because then they could go knock out Vika Vault, knock out Danny, knock out Jirachi. We do have this giant Cape of Toughness in my hand. But I don't think I want to put it on my Vika Vault here. Um, there we go. There's a Marnie. Uh, put it on this Vika Vault. Because it already has to be 2 hit KO'd anyways, I think. Or it's going to have to be 2 hit KO'd. Um, get ourselves another Vika Vault. All right, now we're good. That Marnie was a big savior for us. Would have been pretty scary. This game would have been pretty scary if they didn't Marnie us here. But now we have it. We have a chance. Actually, I don't even know if it's a very good chance still though. Gonna have to Super Zap Cannon this, and then Super Zap Cannon two more times. Okay, with Dragapult. Should have enough energy to do it. We still have Thunder Mountain left as well. The Coco Prism, like I said. I think we can pull this off. I'm trying to find that cape. I'm trying to find that cape. I don't know where I want to put it though. Maybe on the fresh Vika Vault. Um, on the active, it also seems okay as well, I guess. Max Phantom, and up our dude. I mean, this guy's gonna get knocked out. And yeah, putting it on our active doesn't do anything. That's what I want to put on the active to begin with. He has, doesn't have a ton of HP left, though. So that's something I'm a little scared about, I guess. Um, okay. Quick ball. Quick ball away this. And grab that Vika Vault. Oh, no. We prized the Vika Vault. That's not good. I didn't want to lose another boss, though, in case we have to chase stuff. Um, all right, there's three speed lightning left. I kind of want to attempt to draw into a speed lightning. Let me switch cards. I have a decent amount of switch cards left. I could get a little greedy here. Um, switch into the Dene. I could have quick balled away this, switch into the Dene, got the energy here and here, but that's 
very greedy. We'll just ditch the switch. Hmm. What a spot. Uh, I do have three switch cards left, so I could hope to just hit a switch card and then move this to the night after I Coco Prism. Or I could retreat it, I guess, if I whiff. All right, that sounds fine. So we're going to switch. Keep the boss around, because the boss definitely seems like it would be good later in the game. Whiffed the switch card. Not yet, actually. We have the speed lightning. Um, but then I ha would have to put it on the active. I guess it's just going to have to be fine. No, put it here. Ugh, sheesh, man. Uh, at this point, I think I should just speed lightning to the active. All right, get rid of this. Then with the deck by another basic energy. Speed lightning to the active. Did not draw the switch. Did draw the switch card. All right. Here and here. We can use the switch now uh, and then keep. We might actually be able to use Tingly Return this game, which is kind of cool. And then, yeah, Super Zap Cannon. Take this knockout. We're uh, we're three prize cards away. Uh, back to back boss. We could do something with maybe if we get like a boss on a Jirachi with an E Power and then boss KO to Dene. That's not super late. There's the other Vika Vault. Um, he's a little late though. There's an E Power to go with it as well. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice to pull off that switch, but maybe I should have kept the boss. Maybe I should have just given up that boss, took the like, knockout. We knew our opponent was going to do that. Oh, there's a Kirichi. We knew our opponent was going to, like, knock it out that way. We could, I could have gone about it the other way. I could have gone about it the other way, actually, to be honest. could have gone about it the route of, um, just, like, get rid of the boss, keep the escape board, switch into the Dene, attach the escape board to the Dene, because then we have the Elder Gust. Now they're going to come up with another VMAX. They'll knock us out, um, and then we could have gone... Uh, Max, and then we could have gone, just hit it, and then get our Elder Goss for our last boss to bring it back to the active if we have to, even, and then knock it out. But now, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to go attach Turbo Patch Heads, hold the Thunder Mountain, because they still have a Viridian Forest left, I believe. Yeah, they usually play two if they're playing it. Um, there's a Reset Stamp. Maybe they only play the one, though, because they also play Energy Spinner. I did just see an Energy Spinner in my opponent's discard pile there. There's a Reset Stamp. They have a one-card hand. We could go for the Tingly Return here, which I'm actually very tempted to go for here. Very tempted to go for the Tingly Return, because they would need a... They're down two Escape Ward. Only have... Well, they did just get two. They have a three-card hand. I think I'm going to have to go for the Tingly Return here. Item Lock's not that great. Yeah, setting up the Dedene. I think we're going to go for the Tingly Return. So... Uh, I'm going to play this before I get Marn Eater stamped with you know, the deck of this to get this. Attach and wait and then yeah, Tingly Return GX. We do 50 damage and then we could actually item lock for 50 damage with the Paralyzing Bolt. Item lock it if it stays paralyzed. Hopefully it stays paralyzed. Paralyzing Bolt. Trap it in the active or not trap it in the active. Hit it for 50 more and then if we get our last E-Power and it's in the active where we bring it back into the active with the boss's orders. We can actually knock it out on that turn. So that's going to be our game plan, I think. We're going to go... Yeah, yeah. We're going to go Paralyzing Bolt. Hopefully it gets stuck. And then we go Super Zap Cannon plus an E-Power. Take the knockout. Uh, win the game. That's the plan. There's a Power Plant. That's annoying because we have a Dedenne in hand. There's a Marnie. I, was talking, I could have put the Escape Board in play on my active. We're just hoping they whiff an Escape Board here themselves. Can get our Crobat. I believe Crobat is still in the deck. Yeah, Crobat and Eldegoss are still around. So we could go for the Crobat this turn, which I think I will go for to try and find a draw supporter to keep digging deeper through my deck to set up for that game play. And then also find the Thunder Mountain to bump the Power Plant so I can use the Dene uh, as soon as possible. So I'm going to go for the Crobat this turn because I can't one-hit KO the Crobat. It doesn't really give them a win condition on board or anything. So I'm going to go for the Crobat this turn and draw some cards. They got the Escape Board. All right. Maybe not going to happen now. They only have two Scoop Up Net left. Maybe they don't hit the Scoop Up Net, though. Here we go... Stellar Wish. That's a boss. Hopefully that means they don't have a scoop up. They had the scoop up net the whole time. All right. What is our play now? Still got to go with the Crobat. We can still go for the Paralyzing Bolt. We can attach to the benched uh, Vika Bolt. Get Thunder Mountain. Okay, so we can go, still go get Thunder Mountain. So we're going to do that. So we're going to go like this. Get the Crobat. Uh, Crobat's surprised. And every time I go for something, it's just not there. All right, boss is in the deck still. So we can go for Eldegoss. Eldegoss to get our research back. So we can go bench this guy. Attach to him. E-Power. Eldegoss, grab the research, play the research, get Thunder Mountain. Not hit Thunder Mountain. <laughs> well, we maybe lose now. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. I could have maybe not attached, knowing I had speed energies in my deck. I did. I know I had what three speed energy left in my deck, so I probably shouldn't have attached the energy here, knowing I had speed energy left. I got a reset stamp there, but reset stamping them to one sounds a little bit better. 
helpful. I don't know if it's going to really open up a win condition for us overall. Still looking pretty bad for us. It, I don't see a win condition. I don't think we can win. Maybe we can. There's a reset stamp from my opponent again. I don't even get the option of my reset stamp now. There's the Thunder Mountain. Uh, we can also Dead Change. There's a boss on my Goss. And a Max Phantom. This, this. Do they have their Giratina set up in here? They do not. Okay, I th think we can still win uh, here, actually. So we can go... We need to stamp them. They didn't draw any prize cards, which kind of sucks for us, actually. Um, how many switch cards do I have left? Two. Bump my Thunder Mountain. They they play a weird weird numbers of stamps. So I have no idea what's going on in their list. That. I think just did a change. Skateboard. Okay, they have three prize cards left. I'm going to. I mean, I, if I Paralyzing Bolt, I do 50. I don't see a win condition. I'm still stuck. I don't see a win condition for us. Um, sheesh, man. What can I do? I don't have my Great Catcher left. I don't have anything left. I'm out of Turbo Patch. If they don't KO this, possibly, then I could get... Do I have a Switch left? I could get Switch. I get Switch, Attach, and Knockout. All right, so we're going to go... Super Zap Cannon, hit for 190. Um, if they don't knock out this guy, does this guy get knocked out now? No, so if they don't knock out this guy, or they don't have a boss to knock out both of them, then I can go attach and get my last switch off my top deck and win the game that way. But they have to not knock out, oh wait, they do knock it out. Oh, I lost anyways, yeah. All right, I don't think I had a win condition there. <laughs> I don't think there was anything. We are a turn short. Let's see if we can't get him in the next one. Although that matchup, I've never played that matchup before. Dragapult's not very big on the ladder right now with the turn just floating around. Like, not that bad. I thought it would be a little bit uh, harder. We didn't even get to use, like, uh, do anything early on with the, uh, the first attack. That was actually not that bad. We'll see how the next one goes. All right, getting into another one. Our opponent did win the clamp. They are going first, but that's what we want. We want to go second, so this is fine. Uh, opening hand's pretty good. Got a Vika Vault. Got a Jirachi start. Speed Lightning for the Vika Vault. Not too shabby. Let's see what our opponent's got. Uh, looking up over there on their side. ADP Zation. This matchup is... It's pretty close. It's pretty from what I've played, this match is pretty close. Um, that's kind of all I have to say about it. It's just close. <laughs> it can be tough. It can be fine. Um, we're gonna get that. Hopefully, get that paralyzing ball in the ADP and then knock out on the following turn. Then we we'll need a follow up for their Zation, and then they kind of just go from there. Is how it's uh, been going for me. I'm just gonna go with the Marnie here. I uh, don't really want to lose, lose a Turbo Patch. Kind of important. All right, we're just kind of missing a Switch card to get off this early attack okay we did get a switch card we do have speed lightning to draw a card so we're hoping that's going to carry us through here so we got the thunder mountain I'm gonna switch into the vika vault and then yeah paralyzing bolts 50 damage can't use any trainer cards we are an e-power short though from actually knocking this out next turn we're currently we're currently 10 damage off from the ko 80 which is like a super annoying number to have to deal with that 280 uh because we get to 270 with the paralyzing bolt into the super zap cannon plus an e-power which is like good for the KOing Reshi's Arts and stuff. But the, the ADP with that 10 more HP is pretty annoying. Um, but item lock is pretty good. Who knows? They might not even be able to GX attack this turn. Um, bench an Eldegoss just so they can play a Crobat to dig for three cards. The item lock can be pretty good. So maybe it's enough to just slow our opponent down. And it is. And it is. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Item lock pulls through. Gives us that extra turn to work with speed. Lightning draw two more. Uh, quick ball away. A lightning. Gonna go ahead and grab... I guess I'll just grab it to Dene here. We don't have Coco Prism, which kind of stinks. Uh, he's prized. We'll have to find him. Um, I don't actually even have to be that. I guess I don't have to grab to Dene. I don't have to put this in play if I don't want to. But um, I guess I don't want to really do anything in play that they can use Ultimate Ray on. But we should KO them before that. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this to Dene. Play the E-Power. That should be called. Getting the energy in the discard pile is nice. Losing the speed energy ain't great, but... I think it's still better than using Crobat for the turn. Especially when we haven't played a supporter yet. Dig for those extra cards can be the difference. And I don't think we're playing a supporter. Unless I want to Eldegoss for Marnie. Uh, which I don't really want to. But I don't see a really another option here. Falling. I mean, quick line out of our hand to use Crobat doesn't seem that great. I'd rather just Eldegoss for the Marnie. Thin their hand out. They have a huge hand over there. So let's get rid of some of those cards. 
and we did find the other e-power okay that changes things i just realized we have the second e-power in hand we've got the cape in here so we can't respond with ization second e-power and then uh super zap cannon for that two hit ko that i was talking about that is possible but feels a little bit hard to get sometimes we did get it double e-power that works out there's the cocoa prism that's perfect uh right there boss is great to work with on the next one especially if the thunder mountain sticks uh, cause then we'll just be able to go boss and trap something in, in our opponent's active next turn potentially. Um, and they, they probably won't GX attack this game, which is great. That's exactly what we want. GX attack is super annoying to deal with the, uh, ADP GX attack. Means they only have to get through two Vika Volts or like two of our support Pokemon, which we play a lot of, they end up on the bench quite often. Um, but yeah, this play, this, the way this played out like this, it does, actually happens pretty often where you just make it either so awkward that they don't they choose to not gx attack or they just don't get to gx attack and then we just get to like run away with the game like i think we will here in this one we'll see quick ball again getting rid of a metal energy Let's see what they grab another adp um so that's really good for us because that means they're going to attempt to go into an adp so now all we have to do is ko this adp just throw a bunch of stuff at it doesn't matter what we throw at it just got to throw stuff at it get through the ko on this adp they're still going for the gx attack they could get it off this turn very easily um, but we, our game plan is really straightforward from here. Just KO this ADP, win the game. So I like to see that. I like to see that ADP come out. Otherwise, it'd be a little bit more difficult, a little bit harder to work around, I think. Um, Positions not being able to one-hit KO us because without the ADP GX attack with the Cape of Toughness means they, um, it kind of actually means like maybe they have to go with the ADP. Um, I don't even really blame my opponent for going for it, actually, to be honest, because, yeah, but the Cape of Toughness on my Vika Vault, like, that's super, that's super annoying for Zation to get Brave Blade into this thing twice. There's no way they come out ahead on that, so... Yeah, probably having to go down the route of the ADP makes sense. So us locking them out of that was also a big deal last turn because now they have to go back into the second ADP, which makes it that makes our prize exchange that much easier. And switch into the ADP. Do they have the saucer? Nope, just going with the intrepid sword. No saucer e-switch, but they know if they don't switch now, I will just trap the crowbat in the active. So they don't want that. All right, basic energy, e-power, and then research. And we're just going to go ahead and item lock once again. I'm going to get the skateboard down on my Jirachi. Kind of glitch there for a second. Paralyzing Bolt for 80. Um, we're going to be 10 short, even if we get the other E-Power next turn. So we have to like Paralyzing Bolt one more time and then hit him with a Super Zap Cannon. No energy in hand yet. We do have these researches, but that'll cost us our boss's orders. But we do have one more boss and a Great Catcher to finally chase this thing down and take it out towards the end of the game. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll probably just go switch into Jirachi Research. Maybe play the Reset Stamp, depending on what they do with the rest of their hand. Um, I guess I could have reset stamped last turn, but if they Marnius or something, keeping it for later is definitely better. Um, especially like doing some late game plays, like a reset stamp plus boss trap something while we set up to knock it out or something, or set up our board state to be the eventual victor. Um, so I didn't really feel that. I mean, they had was like six to seven, not really that big of a difference. Um, like I would bet either way that they would get the GX attack off. So I think saving it for a potential bigger play later on is definitely the way to go here. And what do they got? Anything? Something? Nothing? Dead A change, looks like they're debating on the Dead A change. What do they lose here? Uh, not, they did get rid of a research there. Interesting that they put down the Dead A then, but I guess maybe they're thinking it just doesn't matter, or maybe they really want a Marnie Me or something. Um, or even boss, they could like boss up this Vika Vault. That would be kind of annoying if they went boss up the Vika Vault and then GX attack, something like that could be annoying. All right, we could go for a Marnie here instead of losing all this stuff with a research, but I don't really need a whole ton anymore to win the game, so I'm like tempted to just research, but I get a Marnie here like I do. I think I'm gonna go with the Marnie instead. Uh, throw this like here I guess play the Marnie limits their hand keep some some stuff around for me for later kind of like that trade off a little bit better all right let's play a turbo patch why not sales all right let's play a speed lighting should have played the speed lighting first actually that's a mistake split up the energy here turbo patch uh and now that I see this one I think I think I should have held on to the other turbo patch as well actually I don't know why I played that one so aggressively all right and then back to the paralyzing bolt super cool thing about this situation is Ultimate raid is 180 damage right now, and our opponent uh, can't use items, so they can't set up Zation to one at KO our Vika Vault. So they either have to knock out something off, off our bench, um, which it looks like they're going for with this Steady Change, and they could go like back to back Ultimate Raid here, or Ultimate Raid, and they go into Zation to win. But now we just need to KO this and we win the game. So if we just get Turbo Patch Heads um, or Coco Prism plus an Energy Attachment, we just we just knock this thing out and we win the game. The game is over. So we're in a super great spot. Um, even if our opponent gets the boss's orders here, we should be able to pull out the win on our next turn. It's possible we don't, but feeling very good in this situation. And worst comes to worst, we leave like a Jirachi or something in our active and hope they don't have a second boss um, to follow that one up or like a great catcher on our Dedenne. Or if we get even Stellar Wish into a boss, bring something up and trap it. Oh, there's the boss. Okay, here we go. 
They should have bossed the Eldegoss, though, because Eldegoss can't be Great Catcher, but Dedenne can. And I'm sure they play Great Catcher. Almost everyone plays Great Catcher right now, because everyone plays Dedenne right now. So being able to like freely take those two prizes at some point in the game, is uh, or cleanly take them, is pretty good. All right, Jirachi the active, heads on Turbo Patch wins us the game. Finding Coco Prison with three Quick Ball left in deck wins us the game. Finding another Turbo Patch and hitting heads if this one hits tails also wins us the game. There's another Turbo Patch. Turbo Patch, heads, energy, attach, attach, retreat, and knock this thing out with the Super Zap Cannon. That's gonna do it for these games here with the Vika Vault. Like I said, my favorite deck so far. Item Lock, super fun to play with. Not as fun to play against, I know, but super fun to play with. I've been loving this deck a ton. It's been my favorite deck by far from the decks I've played. The turn and test is, is definitely a close second, which will be coming at you guys soon with a video on that one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, join the content. Be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.